everybody. My name is Joe Murray. And I'm here to talk to you today about cutting wood. You got to be able to cut wood on the same night that your mother-in-law is uh, shot at by somebody else. And uh, you, you got to be ready for when that father-in-law, you know, he, my wife, you know, my wife, she listens to everything he says. You got to be able to go along with the program. Now, let me explain. I had to lie on the stand for my father-in-law, Ted Daybell, because if I didn't, Emma wouldn't give me no more pussy, okay? I got to have the pussy. I mean, I don't have much of a life. Uh, you know, I'm not man enough to take my wife anywhere other than across the street to her dad's house. And, uh, since, uh, my mother-in-law is dead, I can't, uh, I can't, uh, you know, get by this fact that Emma wants us to, to, uh, protect her dad and to lie on the stand. But I want to get back to chopping wood. Because there's a lesson in that wood chopping. You know, we got to have wood to burn right in a fireplace. Well, we don't have to do it so much anymore now that we're over at my father-in-law's house. Uh, we're still paying the mortgage payments, but John Pryor owns the house, and we're renting. And uh, I, I can't seem to uh, get myself together to be the kind of man I need to be. I just uh, had my third child. I don't have a problem bringing them into the world. But I would, as a father, want my child down the road when they grow up to realize that I lied on the stand. Chopping wood. It's all about it. Now you got to learn to chop that wood to be any kind of man. And I'm a man. And, uh, you know, at least three times, three times I've had sex with my wife because we've had three children. Uh, any other time she gets a little hankering for it, it's only when I do what she wants. And I'm okay. I am okay with her keeping that $9,000 away from me because then I don't have to figure out a way to support our family. So, you know, uh, you know, I'm the only one, I'm the only one that talked about my mother-in-law coughing, but Emma and Garth didn't say anything. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I testified to something that my own wife and, and her brother did not even testify to. But I guess that makes me the one that's going to get some tonight.